So it's that time of year again. It's officially spooky season. Spooktober, as some call it. Uh, skeleton memes and uh, Halloween themed profile pic changes are at an all time high, and uh, artists all over taking part in the yearly Inktober event. So I uh, just thought I'd take you guys for a stroll so we can take a look at all the beautiful drawings from the server gallery. And by beautiful drawings, I mean things like this unholy three-tongued entity. So yeah, let's dive into the deepest recesses of what Spooktober has to offer. Alright, so here we have a case of genetic splicing gone awry. Sheep and spider, interesting combo. What mainly makes this drawing look unsettling to me is the texture. Like it's very silky and smooth all around. I feel like if it was hairy, like a tarantula, it, w it wouldn't look as creepy, but it's that bare fleshy skin that, that just ain't right. And just to forewarn, th this is probably one of the tamer drawings we're gonna be looking at today. Next up we- oh, ho, 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 ho. what is this? Uh, unlike the last one, this thing is covered with gross detail and texture. It's got tumorous pus-filled growths and a little dangler hanging out to the side. Kinda looks like Homer Simpson after crawling through eight layers of hell. Pretty terrifying. And speak of the devil, looks like we got another case of genetic splicing on our hands. Poor Homer doesn't even look like he's mentally present. Like what's left of his mind and consciousness has been completely taken over by the velociraptor he's been forcefully attached to. Kill me, please. Speaking of things that should be killed, uh, yeah, kill that. Kill that with lots and lots of fire. Oh God. His face is affixed in a permanent smile. Uh, it's well drawn. Maybe a bit too well drawn. Especially those hyper-realistic teeth. Reminds me of that old Happy Meal box, you know, the one with the teeth that got cancelled because it kept scaring kids. For a second it actually kind of makes me happy, and then for like the other second it actually kind of creeps me out. That moment when your head is literally suspended on a piece of pipe cleaner. This drawing is actually pretty good. It's just that this clinically depressed onion contemplating his tortured existence is making me feel kind of sorry for it. Oh my goodness, look at the hideous expressions on these guys. If you thought the last one was depressed, this guy's like, it looks like Mudkip, but on like, black tar heroin. The guy over here, um, seems to be perpetually constipated, or perhaps taking the most excruciatingly painful shit for three hours. Might want to turn to some uh, laxatives, buddy. I just want to take a moment to mention something to everyone. This ain't even that much of a spooky drawing, but what what the heck happened here? I I know drawing a good face is an obstacle for a lot of artists here, but I would advise you all to just keep trying, because if you don't, we'll all eventually resort to having a pair of full-grown legs coming out of our heads. Would you want full-grown legs coming out of your head? Let's ask this guy. Hey, buddy, you want a pair of legs coming out of your head? No, Rocco, I don't. Good. Hold on, Rocco. Those aren't legs. They're totally normal arms. You see, she's wearing gloves to cover her face, and down here are her bare lower arms. Oh. Bonehead. Okay, back to the spooky drawings. Looks like this artist wanted to draw a zombie wolf, but kinda gave up halfway through. The poor guy skipped out on leg day, arm day, torso day, he skipped all of the days. So now its body is like so frail that a stray gust of wind would instantly disintegrate his entire being. Yeah, uh, just let this sink in for a bit. This is a classic case of uncanny valley and uh, its offset eyes are peering directly into my soul. Stop looking at me. Can you please look the other way, kind sir? Alright, so here's something less terrifying. Actually, I take that back. This is terrifying in its own way, but actually kinda cool. His head is like a very angry oyster or clam. Mmm, steamed clams. With, of course, human teeth. And no idea what this is. Like a conjoined twin uh, emerging from his chest area. It's something. Okay. Freaking yikes. If I ever saw this thing, like, scuttling across the ground in whatever freaky way it uses those many legs, 
Yeah, that would be horrifying. Hot, says, uh, Mr. Honks. And, uh, I gotta agree, it's so beautiful with those seductive eyes and luscious lips. Move over, Keanu Reeves, we got a new lord to worship. Of course, no Halloween is complete without your daily dose of spooky scary skeleton. Uh, taking some cues from Junji Ito with the dur 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 sound effects. Fantastic horror manga artist, by the way, highly recommend it. And uh, looks like he's either inhaling extremely hard or just very, very sad. <laughs> there are two distinct faces on this thing, and it's weirding me out. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the f is that? Sometimes I wonder if my artists are deliberately trying to terrify me. Like, what, why, why is what would be an at least somewhat cool looking reindeer cyclops have uh, this writhing mass of clustered teeth? Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Actually, I don't want to know the answer to that. Whatever birthed this creature probably has an even worse dental situation. Oh, cool. More! Scary Gotta say, I dig the blocky-headed style. They all appear to be on a boat, but I, uh, I can't really tell where the water begins. I don't know, maybe they're on a floating boat, uh, Flying Dutchman style. I also appreciate how much, uh, each one has their own distinct personality. This guy is having a great old time fishing. He's just chowing down. The guy here seems... out of it. And this poor guy just lost his lunch. A sublime portrait of the lives of skeletons indeed. Okay, now next we have... Mm. Now next we have... <laughs> a very Neanderthal-like Keanu Reeves head. <laughs> this looks like what would happen if a leather Halloween mask of Keanu Reeves was made, but then like bootleg three times over. That's effectively what this looks like. I can't tell if that's his lips or if his mouth is slightly open like like that expression chimpanzees like make like <laughs> Oh look, it's good old Jaden Animations dressed up as her pet parrot Ari. That's actually adorable until you uh take a glance at the bottom and what the heck is this? Can can anyone tell me why there is a uh, demonic face on, on, on her stomach area. I get that it was perhaps an attempt at shading, but how could you, could you not notice this ghostly entity staring right at you while you were drawing it? Come on, guys. It's like you're doing this on purpose. You know those uh, pop-up ads that say like, you know, I did 100 push-ups for a year and this is what happened. There you go. Th this is what awaits you at the gym. And just as a side note, I tried flipping this thing upside down and <laughs> it just looks so innocently happy like Hey guys, wanna go out for some ice cream? Wait, why are you guys running away? I promise not to accidentally kill you like the last 30 people I went out with. If this is uh, your sleep paralysis demon, uh, I am very sorry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what Pikachu would look like if uh, he grew up back in Chernobyl? Kinda like this. Either that or he has a pituitary gland problem. The way his skin tightly clings around his bones like saran wrap is a uh, very, very sexy, according to old Keith over here. Not gonna judge your tastes. Holy cheese! Right here is something you could utilize in any of the Game Jolt horror games out there. <laughs> oh, what is this? Look at the teeth on this thing. This is... Oh. Uh, finally, found something that is both creepy, but, but also cute and beautiful. Looks like it could be on the cover of an actual children's book like Coraline. And ah, very reminiscent of the yin yang symbol I see. Truly wonderful. I wonder what else this artist has done. Probably something just as beautiful. Oh. Oh!
No problem. Everyone has their uh, disturbing side, I suppose. Just like a uh, light and dark in yin yang, one cannot have the beautiful without the ugly and morbid to balance things out. Ah, the elusive Derpasaurus Rex. I feel like this is one of those dinosaurs that went extinct before the meteor hit. I don't think this creature really goes anywhere. I think it just kind of sits in one place, and if a T-Rex or something comes along, he would be like, I accept my fate. I was born a mistake anyway. I... I don't know what this is. Oh, he says it's a Kermit costume, but uh... Uh, yeah, we're missing a lot here. Like, where are your arms? Have you lost the will to live so much that you just gave up having arms? Mother of God. You can tell that this guy's will to live is hanging by a thread, especially when you have to rely on two corn dog sticks for, for locomotion. And yeah, this is how it feels inside when you stub your toe on the edge of the wall at night. And, uh, yeah, I don't think any metaphor I could come up with could come close to accurately representing the level of absolute pain this being is in. But I'm glad that these guys were all able to form a bond over their shared suffering. Alright, so there's a ton more art that I could go over, but there's a lot. So for the sake of my sanity, uh, I'll just leave you with this humble slideshow. So pretty spooky, huh? The, those last few monstrosities were uh, done by yours truly. As much as I give you guys lots of flack for your weird and creepy art, I admit that I myself love drawing the horror stuff as well. So don't feel bad about drawing something a bit different and disturbing once in a while. You might come up with something really creative. So guys, remember to stay spooky. See you next time. And shivers down your spine Shrieking skulls will shock your soul And seal your doom tonight Spooky, scary skeletons Speak with such a screech You'll shake and shudder in surprise When you hear these zombies shriek